it's interesting today that the daily word is calm and I needed to remain calm because my camera wasn't working and so let's just begin by breathing and centering ourselves this day breathing in <clears throat> knowing that all is well mechanical things don't always work and so we need to remain calm so breathing in <clears throat> we rest in our center Precious Spirit, we thank you for this day. We thank you for all kinds of technology, and we thank you for the ability to remain calm when technology doesn't work. And so we go forth today doing what is ours to do, bringing in the joy and the love and the peace. And so it is. Amen. So it's it's always humorous to me when things don't work and you start to get frustrated and then you say, well, wait a minute, what's this word that we're supposed to be talking about today? And several years ago, at Easter time, there was quite a, an earthquake. I was lying on the kitchen floor, just resting my back and looking at the trees upside down as I do through the back door. And the earthquake came like the house felt like it was sitting on a bowl of jello and jiggling back and forth. And I thought, oh, my little... Things will fall off the shelf and the books will come down and the cans will fall out of the cupboard and, oh my, well, I'm just going to sit here and put my hand over my head and see what happens. Well, nothing really happened. The house just kind of jiggled like jelly and then it ended, but the water did kind of slosh out of the pool. And so when I went around the house looking to see what had fallen, the only thing that had fallen off the shelf was a picture of Jesus calming the sea. And I thought, how appropriate that in the time of excitement the message came through peace be still peace be still and so that was my message that i received that day despite the earthquake nothing seemed to have broken and the only thing falling off was the picture of jesus coming to see so maybe there's something in your life that brought a memory like that to you and we can remember to go within into our silent place of love and peace and remain calm despite what's going on around us. And that's part of what mindfulness is about, being centered in the moment, in your own solidity, your own strength, and going forth with the words and the actions that are yours to do. And so it takes practice again and again and again. And that's why we're still here, because we're practicing. But we are doing better as we grow and become the spiritual beings that we're meant to be, because we're here to learn lessons and here to spread the love and spread the peace and spread the joy. And so let's take some breaths together and rest in that peace and in that calmness. So see yourself taking several timeouts during the day. We have timeouts for children, and sometimes it's a punishment, but a timeout can be a gift, and a timeout to be in the, in the uh, connection with spirit is so very important. And so see how many timeouts you can take today and be in that calmness. You know, 
know, the, the Muslims pray five times a day, they're taking time out to connect with God. And so we can also take that time out. In the Buddhist tradition, they sometimes ring a, a bell, and that bell reminds them to stop, to breathe, and to go about their business again with a renewed sense of, of power. And when you go to a meditation retreat, sometimes they ring that bell several times during the day and you stop what you're doing and, and meditate on, uh, on being in that moment. And so there's in many traditions there are things that we can admire and follow and learn from as we go forth. And so today, let the time of your time out be a time of calmness, a time of connecting within and know that your center is whole and perfect and that you can connect with that peace at any time. And so let's breathe together again and go into that silence together. And so, to, so today can be your beginning of my time out for calmness, my time out for love, my time out for joy, my time out to be. And since we're sequestered, we have some of that time. And hopefully you can find something to bring you back to that awareness moment by moment. Some people have a rubber band on their wrist that they can snap and say, oh, time for my time out. Other people can put it on their phone, but you can just put it within your being that you are going to go within, to rest in the silence, and to know that you are connected with the Beloved, you are the Beloved, and nothing can harm you as you go forth in this wonderful life, doing what is yours to do, and responding but not reacting to the things of the world. Remember, Jesus told us, I am in the world, but I bring you the peace that is not of the world because there's so much going on and so much commotion around us sometimes that we have to remember to go within, sit in that silence, and then go forth to do what is ours to do. And so it's a practice. It takes time, but you can do it. We can all do it. And so I send you love and blessings and remind you that our prayer ministry is open from noon until 5 daily, Monday through Friday, to pray with you in your joys and in your sorrows and to support you in all that you do. And so let's end this time together with prayer and just knowing, precious spirit, that we are immersed in your love and your care. And we see that love and care around all peoples, especially those who are suffering right now. We see first responders remaining safe, and we see the coming together of our country and our community to bring health back to our nation and to ourselves. But each of us, we know, can start from where we are, and those ripples go out indefinitely. So be peace, be love, be calm be who are you are meant to be and we
with that grace, we say thank you, thank you, thank you. In the name and through the power of the living Christ presence. Amen. So bless you. Every day is a chance to begin again. And so begin in calmness today.